Hello viewers. So let's start today's class. Today we'll discuss about multiplication. So before we start multiplication, we should keep two things in our mind. One is you should know the all the facts from two to nine, and you should know all the facts in such a way that it should be on your fingertips so when i ask like eight fours are how much so you shouldn't start from eight ones are eight eight twos are sixteen no you should say eight fours are thirty two it should be on your fingertip okay these are the two things you should keep it in your brain so one more thing is and most of the facts from 2 to 9 table all are two digit numbers only few facts we have one digit number so that is 2 times 1 is 2 but you have to make this one digit as two digit number so that is 0 2 means you have to convert all the facts as two digit numbers rather than one digit number to get the correct answer if you use this one as a one digit you will get your wrong answer on your abacus okay so this is one more thing we should keep it in our mind so what are the facts you have all the facts should be a two digit a two digit number minimum okay if it is a one digit number you just try to add zero in front of in front of that number which it doesn't change any value just the representation is different okay so let's start today's our class so first we'll see our first example that is 28 7 sa. so again one more thing here when you multiply two digit with one digit you will get the most of the answer is like three digit number so you have to use the three columns on your abacus to represent your answer if you are multiplying two digit times two digit so you should use the how many columns four columns on your abacus okay so that's the one more thing you should keep it in your mind okay so let's do let's start our class so we'll do 28 times 7 so here usually general multiplication you will do with the ones place but here i'm doing with the tens place 7 twos are 14 and whatever the answers i got so i use my third column okay so 7 twos are 14 so how to keep 14 on abacus so 1 4 14 okay so the again 7 eights are 56 so how to keep 56 on abacus 56 okay so what's the answer you got 28 times 7 is 196 100 and 96 okay so next 98 times 8 so how to do this one first we have to multiply these two 9 eights are 72 so how to keep on abacus 72 okay good job next one 8 eights are 64 so it's a two digit number so i have to keep it here 64 so 6 and 4 so what's the answer i got 784 good job 784 okay so next one 32 times 6 so 32 times 6 how to do this one 6 3 is a 18 so same principle i'm using three column okay 18 6 2 is a 12 1 2 so what's the answer 192 192 okay so next one 
96 times 5. So, 9 fives are 45 and 5 six are 30. So, what's the answer? 480. So, write down 480. Okay. Good job. So, next one. Five threes are fifteen. So one five fifteen. Three six are eighteen. So one eight. So what's the answer you got? One hundred and sixty eight. So one hundred and sixty eight. Okay. Next one. Seventy five times eight. Okay. So, how to do this one? 8 7 is 56. So, that is 5 and 6. 6. Next, 8 4, 5 is 40. So, how to add 4 here? You can't add directly. So, we should go for big friend. Small friend, we can't use anymore. So, plus 10 minus 6. So, I added 40. So, what's the answer? I got 75 times 8 is 600. Good job. Okay, next. We are doing 47 times 7. So, 7 4 is 28. So, 2, 8, 28. Next. 7 7 is a 49. So here you must add 4. How to add 4? Plus 10 minus 6. Next here you have to add 9. 49. So what's the answer? 329. So 329. Next. 89 times 6. So, 6 8 is 48. So, 4 and then 8, 48. Then, 6 9 is 54. So, how to add 5 here? Plus 10 minus 5. So, plus 10 minus 5 and then 54. So, what's the answer? 534. 534. So, I will write one more example. So, let's see. We will do one more problem uh, to explain our concept. This one. So, how do we have to make it this one digit add two, two digit? So, I will go through an example so that you will understand this concept why we have to take two digit number. If we take one digit, what will happen? So, here I am doing this one 71 times 5. 7 5 is 35. So, 3 5 35. Next, 5 1 is 5. So, if I take only as one digit number, then I will add here. Which leads to a wrong answer. Oh, you can't see, right? Abacus. Not able to see, right? Yes. I'll do one more time. See here. 7 5 are 35. Okay. 5 1 is 5. But if I take 5, then I should add in 10th place, which is a wrong answer. So, 5 1 is 5. I have to make it 0 5. So, means... In 10th place, I shouldn't add anything, but whereas in 1's place, I should add 5. So, I added 5. So, the answer is now 355. Hope you understand the concept. If you like the video, please do share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.